minutes of catchweight contest, 20 minutes duration, no rounds. Two falls, two submissions, or a knockout will decide the winner. On my left in the red corner, known as the Lancashire Star. Ladies and gentlemen, sportsman and country gentleman, Mr. Tally O'Kay. Here's the opponent on my right in the blue corner from Wigan. And the the golden ace, John Naylor. for a catchweight bout. Tally Ho, Peter Kay, Nelson Lancashire, and his usual white jodhpurs, versus John Naylor of Wigan. Formerly of the famous Billy Riley's gymnasium in Wigan. So two Lancashire men here, and the bout is over 20 minutes duration. Two falls, two submissions are not allowed to decide the winner. Catch weight because Naylor of 11 stone 11 giving away just a few pounds to 12 stone 4 Peter K. So John Naylor, the blonde boy from Wigan, on the right there. Peter Zakash, the referee on this one. mostly on speed and agility, left front there on the left, and of course his opponent, Peter Kay, Tally Ho Kay, mostly on strength. John Nader twisted out of it just at the last second. the hold he has in the Naylor left leg completely and Naylor wins that particular move. got the weight advantage here. <laughs> Arguing as usual with the crowd, the inside seaters. Shaped for a side head chance. He didn't. I oh, know he's got it. Don't give me! 
<laughs> it's a perfectly reasonable side hit chance for his left there. But he's got to break it for the ropes. John Naylor really going for that K left arm. The one with the elbow protector on it. <laughs> five minutes. So five minutes gone cold. So 15 to go. Two falls to decide it. That's a Naylor trick. One of his specials. Hook the arms on the beef. And a first double leg Nelson. And the first one in Ayla. In just five minutes, 15 seconds. The first fall of the contest goes to the blue corner of the Golden Ace, John Mayer. That speciality of John Mayer seen yeah, either his drop kick or his use of the, the top rope as he calls his Naylor special and very effective it was then. Second away for the second session. So here we go for the second session. And John Naylor in the black trunks and gold boots on the right there leading <laughs> leading Peter Kay is still arguing with the crowd by one fall to nil. Got plenty of time to go. About 14 minutes. another nail trick this and it's, it so often works there's just nothing that the man can do except go where he's told to really with the, the leg lock tells him and he gets more frustrated all the time as Naylor puts him where exactly where he wants to and a crawl towards the ropes to get the break that's his only way out Can't argue with the crowd from inside the ring, and nor did Naylor. Oh, lovely twist out of trouble. Oh, yeah. He says, oh, no, but oh, yes, and it was a beautiful escape by John Naylor. Even appreciated by his opponent. Peter Zakash, the referee. <laughs> Doesn't always see the humor of some of these Peter K moves. Paul Nelson K. Oh, Nayla, holding the uh, K feet by doing all the pressure he could from that angle on his toes. <laughs> Yeah, it caused a certain amount of surprise. The Naylor seemed confident. Sidehead chance right now, Naylor. Oh, yes. Another Naylor special. Rolls him around this is weak now. Great move. That's it. Just giddies him up a bit. No chance of a score from it, but pretty effective from the getting up point of view. Hello, 
the flying head scissors. And another, but this time it's waiting for it, and it was nicely taken that folding press and an equalizer in nine minutes, 20 seconds for Peter K. Tally Ho K. One fall each. Your MC Brian Crabtree. A referee gives the equalizing fall to Tally Ho K. For the neat one too, as John Naylor was going for a another flying head scissors on him he saw it coming caught the feet was dead right and from then on it was all his that fall so one each second away for the final session and here we go from session number three which of course is the final session one fall each now but there's still just about half this part to go through the boat. Ten minutes to go, of course. Uh, crowd, of course, hoping that John Naylor will uh, get this. He's a popular one of the two, so you can hear about it. <laughs> Winners of each move. Now, uh, the Naylor's got a point now, and they love it. with a finger into lock thinking of getting his man into a straight arm left if he can keep the arm straight he's got it now but he gets a punch right in the back to force him to leave go and of course Kay says that that was the flat of the hand referee Zakash not sure enough to give a public one Side headlock now, Kelly. Uh -huh. Landed on the toss, the top rope. <laughs> well, he's the horseback rider, Kay. I wonder what he feels like to be the wrong end of that. Rules and base of the spine drops there. I don't know what he calls that wrestling or not, but it's certainly effective. Yeah. He wants to be friends again now. Causing him a little trouble, but uh, Naylor has a perfect right to go for it, of course. Watch hold. Both, both men trying the same. A body check which DK didn't win, but a flying tackle that Naylor didn't win. And it's a pile driver to Kay. And all the way down, pile driver, but his feet in the rope, so he's told to break. what Brian Crabtree, the MC, has to say about that. It was very, very sudden. I think he was counted out when he was outside the ring. Set up for the count of the ten. 
The only man still out of the ring is Tally O'Kay there for the winner. Yes. It's the <laughs> man, John Miller. That's what happened. Kay conjured out because his foot was outside the ring on the apron and the referee counted him out. So a win for John Naylor in just about 13 minutes.